and yeah, the pranams to you all, namaskars to you all. When we talk about Ganga, in the entire our country, the problem is with the rivers. Even in Telugu states, Krishna or Godavari or Tungabhadra, they're completely getting polluted. A lot of industrial pollution is being left into the rivers. And recharging of uh, rivers are not there. The domestic pollution and the industrial pollution and the successive governments are not able to do anything. And the ecological imbalance in our country is very rapidly getting destroyed. In fact, me forming a political party for a great reason is somewhere a political party should stand for ecological balance. As Rajendra Singh Ji said, the development should be balanced, keeping ecological balance in mind. But the problem in our country is we try to ape Western West. But India is deeply embedded in our cultural heritage. We believe in karma. When we do something wrong, it is going to affect us. It will affect our children. And that's why we don't exploit resources, unlike West. Some way to take away the, the cult cultural bent of our country is going to damage. And that is the reason why rapidly our natural resources are getting depleted and polluted. And to give you an example, in one of our cities called uh, Vaisak, in another 10 years, there's going to be a, a big trouble for water, a shortage of water. Already there's a great shortage, and there's no, not going to be any water left. That is the uh, forecast of the, that's the present situation here. So somewhere, the entire river, to revive the rivers of our nation, let us start with Ganga. Gangaji is its we, we respect our mother from and every part nook and corner of India there is a temple of Shiva and we respect we, we pray Ganga there we call water as Ganga no matter which, which part of India we call it as Ganga so Ganga is not just for Uttar Bharat or Dakshin Bharat or Puru Pashim it is for the entire nation and what happens in Uttarakhand, what happens in northern India, it will, ha it will happen to the rest of the India also. So it is every Indian's responsibility to stand for Ganga, the free flow of Ganga, that whatever the pollution is happening to stop the pollution to, into Ganga. And this all concern for me. I worked with, I supported Pradhan Mantri Narendra Modi ji in 2014. I worked along with him. And when the BJP came, I thought Ganga rejuvenation will happen. When Professor G.D. Agarwal was doing fasting for the revival of Ganga, free flow of Ganga, after more than 100 days, first I was hearing about it, very small bit news, and no one knows about it, about the entire fasting. Only individuals like me who are a bit Keen for environment, we, we, we get to get the, we used to get the information. But I thought the current government is completely pro-Ganga. 
And somehow it didn't happen when he was fasting and something his demands are not being met. met. Forget about demands being met. At least someone from the center should have come. And I thought they would lift him, they would request him and they would concede, they would agree to his demands or at least they would have a dialogue. That's what I had thought. When he passed away, when the sacrifice happened, that really deeply touched me. That awakened my sense of responsibility as an Indian. I felt bad. No one could respond in our country for such an immense sacrifice. And I could not be there on that particular day. But though after a year later, on his punyatiti, to be here, to take forward his demand, whatever he stood for, it is our, every Indian's responsibility. And whatever, there are eminent people here. Swamiji is here. A lot of experts are here. And entire, there are so many ashrams are here. But Matra Sadhan is very special. Something which stood for Ganga. There are Swamiji's who gave up his life before. And again, Swami G.D. Agarwal. And all of these, when I look at all these, and there are a few more younger uh, brahmacharis and sannyasins who are willing to stand for Ganga. And it is, I feel, Matru Sadhan has a special place and has a special role to play in safeguarding Ganga. And I feel, whatever the Guruji says, and it is, what we start cleansing Ganga is cleansing the entire, every river of India, every rivulet, every tributary. And I feel, Whatever, I think before we take responsibilities, as Patilji says, I think there should be one more discussion should be there. And there are a lot of people around from Uttaranchal had expressed to include natives into, the, into this. Wherever Ganga is flowing, the people from the states also, they should be a part of it. If I could come all the way from southern part of India to stand for Ganga, it is all the more responsibility for everyone. Ganga Parivahak Praha area. I think people should be a part of this. And somewhere we should make them a part of it. And we should enlighten them. We should educate them. And I feel everyone, somewhere I think all of us should sit one more time. And make a, an elaborate discussion, a round table, conference somewhere. Whichever part you decide. I think there we'll define our role and responsibilities. I'm willing to do it. This is for my nation. This is for my country. So I will, whatever responsibility, willingly I would love to take it, provided. I want everyone to sit one more time to define the role and responsibilities. And the, as Professor said, fighting with government is going to be the toughest job. They're heartless. It is nothing but to take to get into power for the next elections. But they're going to be heartless. So to fight with a heartless government is going to be a tough job. It is not about no violence is not going to solve the issues. It's only through path of non-violence. And we believe completely in the form of non-violence. The moment violence comes into the picture, the purpose will be gone. And India is not ready for a, a violent demonstrations or anything. I feel non-violent means, as everyone agrees here, will take it forward. I prefer to take a rest before committing anything, I prefer to have one more roundtable conference on this to define a specific role and responsibilities for all of us. And definitely I'm willing lo willingly to take it forward, whatever best, whatever in my own capability. I can take my perp my strength is I can take it to the people. Whatever the news is happening today, maybe it might confine to a Haridwar if it is any other day. But now I can take you to the, at least, I can promise you I can take you to the entire southern part of India and main cities of India. That much I can promise you today for this particular news. So I request uh, Rajan Singh Ji to, before confining your role and responsibility, I want you to, I request you to go for one more elaborate meeting before uh, we take our role and responsibility. I prefer Patil Ji and the uh, rest of all the eminent personalities here with the guidance of Guruji. I request you to take it forward and uh, thank you for giving this opportunity. Jai Hind. Entendi video na chinda, aithe wo like face kundi, le dante wo comment chendi. Yappadi kapuru ma video shoot alante subscribe chase kundi.